What's the craziest prison break in history? This is Yoshie Shiratori, and the insane way that he managed to escape from prison will literally blow your mind. Yoshie actually escaped from prison four times during his life. But after he escaped twice, he was sent to Abashiri Prison, a maximum security prison that was reserved only for the worst criminals in Japan. The conditions there were absolutely terrible and inhumane, and no one had ever escaped from there before. However, Yoshie just didn't care. In fact, the very first thing he said to the guards when he got to the prison was, There's no point putting handcuffs on me, I will always break free. This angered the guards, so they basically just made Yoshie's entire cell escape proof. They first placed solid iron cuffs on Yoshie's ankles and his wrists. These cuffs weighed 20 kilograms each and would take a specialist 2 hours to take off. He would have to wear these at all times and they made him barely able to walk and stand. As if that wasn't enough, his entire cell was reinforced with steel fixtures and any openings to the outside world were too small for his body to fit through. All of that made escaping impossible, at least that's what the guards thought. Part 2 is up now, so I highly recommend you go check it out on my page. This is part 2 of the most mind-blowing prison escape in history. Go check out part 1 if you haven't already. With around 180 pounds of weights on him, as well as a completely impenetrable escape-proof cell, most people would have probably given up. But not Yoshia Shiratori, because he already had a plan. Every day, he'd be given a small portion of miso soup for his meal. And every single day, Yoshia would save a little bit of the soup and not eat it. Instead, he would rub the soup on the bolts and screws of his cuffs, as well as the bolts and screws on the window of his door. He knew that the salt in the soup would eventually cause the iron on the bolts and screws to rust, making them weak and easier to break off. Sure enough, after many months of dabbing soup on the cuffs, they were weak enough to break off. And soon later, the bars on the window door were also weak enough to be broken off. But the window was still way too small for Yoshie to fit through. However, what the guards didn't know was that Yoshie could literally dislocate any of his joints at will. And by doing that, he was able to squeeze his body through the very tiny space and then break out of a window and escape the prison. Despite all of the guards' best attempts, Yoshie was able to live up to his promise and escape from a nearly unescapable cell.